Hi, it's Brooke. Today I'm going to be doing my fall tiered trays. I have two trays to do for you. My typical Amazon one and my Hobby Lobby one. But today is special because I'm teaming up with Bargain Bluebird and we're both going to bring you our fall tiered trays today. I've been watching Bargain Bluebird for probably at least a year now and she does trays and shopping haul and she decorates her mantle which makes me so jealous that I don't have a mantle to decorate. And hers are just cute and rustic and simple and fun and just a great job. So I was so excited when and she wanted to collaborate with me on these fall tiered trays. So thank you, Bargain Bluebird. I'm super excited. If you're from her channel, hi. Glad to have you here. I hope you stick around. Let me know down in the comments if you are from her channel. And if you're one of my subscribers and you go to her channel, let her know that I sent you. That'd be very appreciated. So today I have two fall tiered trays that we're going to do. And they're just simple and muted with the traditional colors with the little pop of teal that I had talked about when I went through all my fall decor. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Let's do the tiered trays. Today we're going to start with my Amazon tier trade. It has a bigger circle on the bottom than a smaller one on the top. And I got everything out that I want to use. And I have kind of put this together before so I kind of know how I want it to go. And I wanted to have a pumpkin spice kind of theme, kitchen theme. Because this does go in the corner of my kitchen. So I just have one of my homemade signs that I've made. I have them for all holidays and just for generic and so I'm going to stick the pumpkin spice here. This is always my front so you're seeing the front view and it sits in a corner so I just need to do the front. Next thing I wanted to do to have some height, I always like to have some height back here, is I have this little brown barrel jar that I got at Goodwill I'm pretty sure or the thrift store of some sort and I'm just gonna set that back here for a little height and then if you watch any of my other fall videos I am incorporating some turquoise teal in it and this is just another thrift store item put that back there and then to kind of round it out I have this little gold candlestick and then this is just some boxwood I think from it's a big swag of it from Hobby Lobby and I just tore it all apart and it just fits perfectly right over here to add some greenery and balance it out. What I wanted to do is kind of use all my kitchen things for the bottom so I have like these measuring cups, I have my little cutting board, little teacup, measuring spoons, my little spice thing I got at the thrift store also and then I just have a jar that says eat on it so this is gonna kind of go in the back somewhat of a kind of a filler in the back to fill it up and it has foam on it and then the other thing I want to go in the back is this little bucket and then just have this sprig kind of hanging out of it here and then this square basket is one of my favorites to put in the back and then just fill it with something I do have this striped pumpkin that I'm gonna fill it with it just fits nice and <laughs> adds a little orange to my tray I'm going to organize my measuring spoons here in my little pour cup from right on. I'm going to set that right over there. I'm going to put my little measuring board kind of over here and off to the side. I did grab a, one of my little pedestals to put my eat canister on and I just have this filled with wooden spools just for fun. And then to add another little pop of teal I'm going to set that guy over there and then to bring in my spices I'm just going to set that there and then I have my green coke bottle so to add a little bit more to the top. Get my sprig in here to kind of balance out the greenery from the top to the bottom. And this is my little pumpkin spice tiered tray. Spices, measuring cup, oh my board fell down. I kind of like that angled up there. And you gotta kind of pinch him in there so he doesn't fall over. I think it just turned out fun and cute and pretty simple and I really like it. So let's do my Hobby Lobby tiered tray. So 
So this is my Hobby Lobby 2 tray. They still carry it there. I've seen it and it just works out nice. It's the same size on the top and bottom. And this one usually sets on the bookshelf in my living room. I have all my stuff laid out. So I'm going to kind of set it up with you and show you kind of how what I thought and what I wanted. So this was my new sign that I shared in my fall haul that I was so excited to get. When I saw it at Hobby Lobby, because I just love the beautiful colors on there, so I knew I wanted to use this somehow, and it just ended up working in my tiered tray just so nice. So I'm going to prop it right up here, and then I always like to use this tin that I got, and it's just a tall skinny one, and I got this from Michaels, and I did see it on people's videos this year, so I think you can still get that, and I just like it on this tray the best because I can sit it back up here and it just adds height, you know, and a little bit of silver or galvanized metal to my tiered tray. And then this is another beloved item that I use and this was just from the Target Dollar Spot forever ago. You could use any sort of like white lantern, you know, and this, I use this a lot and then that square basket from the last tray just to kind of fill up the background in my trays. You can tell this is well loved. If you get close, it's definitely scuffed up. And then this is just another Target pumpkin from who knows what year. We'll see what they come out with this year, right? Are they going to still do their velvet pumpkins or are they going to try something different? So I'm just going to prop that right in there. This is also just another olive bucket from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to use this as filler in the background. I like to like fill my trays up. That's kind of how I decorate them. They're rarely sparse so I always like to have kind of things in the background that just fill up the dead space. When I decided I wanted to do teal in my fall decor again, I found my little gnome and mushroom that I got from the spring collection last year at Hobby Lobby. So I thought these would be perfect to pull out and use on my little tear tray today. And then another thing I've been loving to do, this is just one of those colanders from Target. And you, I've seen these all over in different brands, different styles, big and small. And what I've been doing with it, sitting it on its side, should have probably put him in there first, huh? Okay, so I like to set it on its side and then fill it with pumpkins and kind of have them spilling out here, you know, in a very put together, organized sort of way, right? And these are just the pumpkins from Hobby Lobby. You can still get them and they have tons more colors this year. So this is kind of in there, kind of weird. We'll make it work. And then I just thought that this side kind of needed some balance maybe with this side over here. So I got out my little bead garland that I made. And this is just embroidery false at the end. The beads are from Tar... The beads are from Amazon. And I just kind of wanted to drape them. Not too far down over here, but just a little bit. And then pull these ones kind of out and have it hanging off down there. And this other set.
kind of futzy futzy with it a little bit. So here's the front of that one. And I just love how the blues and the oranges and the little pops of yellow just kind of all came together to make a very like muted natural looking two tray. This one took me forever to try to get together when I was doing it. I was frustrated. It just wasn't coming together. I probably did about three or four gazillion probably not different arrangements i am so happy with the way it came out i'm gonna put this on my bookshelf and i can't wait to get all the rest of my fall decor to kind of coordinate with everything and put a little more touches in my kitchen and my living room so make sure you're staying tuned for those videos I hope you enjoyed my fall tiered trays. Please go check out Bargain Bluebird. And once again, if you're from her channel, let me know down in the comments. And thanks for stopping by. It was super exciting. Make sure you check back because I will have more fall decorating videos. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.